So far we have discussed introduction to DBMS concepts. Today we will see database language DDL and DML commands. We will learn them by using Oracle. Here I am using Oracle 11G. Oracle products follow custom release numbering and naming convention. You can see this list here in this Wikipedia page. Oracle database 21C is the latest version. C in the Oracle database, this 19C and 21C stands for cloud. Previous releases 11G and Oracle 9I have suffixes G and I, which stands for Z for grid and I for internet. Here, the cloud database means it allows to put databases into public or private cloud. Grid computing database this 11G grid computing database supports cluster of servers that are treated as single unit. Let us first discuss some common Oracle built-in data types. Oracle data types. Each column and column constraints in SQL statement has a data type which is associated with specific storage format, constraint and valid range of values. When you create a table, you must specify a data type for each of its columns. We are going to see these three built-in data types, character data type and numeric data types and date data type. Oracle supports more data types like large objects and raw and raw ID. Let's see number data type. Number data type stores fixed and floating point numbers. Number of any magnitude can be stored and are guaranteed portable among different systems using Oracle databases up to 38 digits of precision. Syntax for numeric column is column name and keyword number and we need to specify precision and scale. Here precision is the total number of digits and scale means number of digits to the right of the decimal point. If the precision is not specified, the column shows the values as given. Suppose if I give 1, 12.5 it will store as it is. If no scale is specified, the scale will be 0. And Oracle supports uh, this number types int and we can specify floating point numbers like this number of pression comma size and you can even declare variable like this decimal pression comma size. Character data types. Character data type stores alphanumeric data in bytes. It includes car, var car and var car to data types. Let us see first car data type. Car data type stores fixed length alphanumeric data means fixed length character strings. When you create a table with character column, you must specify string length in bytes or characters between 1 to 2000 bytes. The default value is 1 byte. If you don't specify the size, then it will be treated as one byte. Syntax for character data type is column name on keyword car and we need to specify the size. Varchar to data type. Varchar is synonymous with varchar to data type. To avoid possible changes in behavior, always use varchar to to store variable length character strings. Varchar to is used to store variable length alphanumeric data maximum string length between 1 to 4000 bytes. Syntax for varchar to data type is column name size date data type. It is used to store dates in oracle date format and syntax for date data type is column name and we need to specify keyword date. Default date format in oracle is dd sorry it is not mm mon and yy to feb 21. Relational databases uses structured query language SQL commonly pronounced as SQL structured English query language. It is developed by IBM corporation. It is non-procedural language. It supports five sub languages. One data definition language TDL data manipulation language TML three data control language dcl transaction control language tcl data query language dql 
now we will see ddl and dml we will see other three later data definition language ddl ddl commands are create alter drop truncate and rename these commands are used to describe the structure of the table to describe the structure of the database objects like tables and views means they are used to create delete and modification of the database objects let us see create command this command is used to create database objects like tables views and indexes syntax for create command is create table table name we need to specify column and its data type and size and if you have more columns column 2 and its data type and size here we took the database object table if we are creating view then you can specify create view and view name and its syntax let us see the create command in oracle to create the student relation we can use this following statement before that we need to connect to database account here i connected to system account now if we execute this command table is created here we did create the student table which has four columns sid which is of character type of size 10 and student name its type varchar 2 of size 30 and age which is numeric and gpa floating point number with scale 2 and precision 4 to view the structure of the table we can use describe command dsc student we can see the structure of the table here it has four columns and the data types are uh, this value is character varchar 2 num number and floating point value observe here while creating the table i have mentioned the name capital s here in student but here even if i type the small s we get the result by default oracle identifiers like table names and column names are case insensitive see here I specified number in capitals here and the small letters means table names and column names are case insensitive. If you want case sensitive then you can specify in quotations it will work. Let's see the second command alter. It is used to alter or change existing table structure. Here altering means addition, drop or rename columns or modify an existing column definitions means existing column data type or, or length of the column or even integrity constraints this alter command can also be used to add modify or drop integrity constraints associated with the tables and we can even use the rename alter command used with three keywords add modify and drop alter with add it is used to add number of columns into existing table syntax is alter table table name keyword add column one and its definition if you have more columns after comma you have to specify column definition let us alter this student table here let us add address column to the student table we can do that by using this alter command alter table student add column name address and it's it is of type varchar 2 of size 20 table altered we can see the table structure now this student table has five columns this new one address is added now modify it is used to change column data type or column length syntax is alter table table name modify column one and its definition let us modify this uh, address column we can use modify for changing the data type or the size of the data type let us change first data type we need to modify the address data type modify address let us change it to character table alter now address should be of type character see here this var cat 2 is changed to car of 20 we can even change only the size of this data type let us change length of the data type now see here this address changed from size 20 to size 30 drop it is used to remove column from table syntax is alter table table name drop you need to specify the column name 
we want to drop if you have more columns you can specify with comma let's drop this address column alter table student drop you need to specify the column here it is address see here a traced error cannot drop column from the table owned by sys tables in sys schema are manipulated only by the database they should never be modified by any user or database administrator you must not create any table in sys schema so let's create new user let us say dbms lab here dbms lab is the user and i give password also dbms lab new user is created in this we can create the databases let us create the same student table within this user we need to connect to this user see here dbms lab lacks create session privileges log on denied means for this user dbms lab we need to give the session privileges to give any permissions we need to log in as a system administrator so connect dba now we can give the session privileges to dbms lab user grant succeed now you can connect to the dbms lab on user dbms lab password dbms lab it is connected you can create the student table in this user see here if you try to create the table it is showing that insufficient privileges to create any database objects within any user that user must have privileges to the resources so we need to give the resource permissions to the dbms lab user so we need to connect as dba connected grant resource to dbms lab grant succeeded so we can connect as dbms lab password is dbms lab connected now we can create the table table created you can check the table structure this is the student table structure let us add address column address table order now we can see the description it has five columns now let us drop this address column with this account it should drop alter table student drop address table altered now you can see the table structure now it has only four columns means this address column dropped from the table but we cannot drop all columns in a relation at least one column should be there within the table we have seen create and alter now let us see drop drop is used to drop database objects from database syntax is drop object type and object name suppose object type might be table and object name might be student a drop table student and then this student table will be dropped from the database here objects might be even views index also view name let us drop student table and drop table student before dropping let us check whether this table is there within the that user or not describe student this table has some structure with four columns okay now let us drop the drop table student table dropped if you try to check the structure of the table see the error object student does not exist means this object dropped from the database let's see truncate it is used to delete all rows permanently from table syntax is truncate table table name to run this command we need data so we already dropped the student table let us create the student table again table created and enter data into student table insert into student values b141160 is 21 and gpa 8.9 one row created see here uh, this student id and name are type character types so i specified them in single quotes number types we doesn't need any single quotes we can check the 
data by using select command select star from student this table has one row let us insert one more row id 161 we have two rows we can use truncate command now truncate table student table truncated if you see the data within the table no rows selected means all these rows are deleted from the student table we cannot get back them means data is permanently deleted and fifth command in ddl is rename this command is used to rename table and rename columns also syntax is rename old table name to new table name see here we truncated the data but table will be existed within database let's see the table structure for the student table is there but there is no data within that table okay let us rename this student table to some other name here we, we should not use table rename old table name to new table name table renamed if you check the student table structure uh, it is saying object does not exist because we changed that student table to stu now this stu has this structure and we can use this rename to modify the column name also syntax is we have to use it with the alter alter table table name rename column old column name to new column name see here i want to change the column this name to s name student name by using this rename alter table stu or rename column name to new name here it is s name table alter if you see the structure now uh, this column name changed to s name from this name oracle database implicitly commits the current transaction before and after every ddl statement all these ddl statement create alter drop truncate and rename means all ddl commands are commit automatically even if you close that uh, sql command line table will be existed within the database whatever the commands you type all this will be saved but dml commands will not be implicitly committed by oracle 